Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at macOS Ventura 13.4. So this was released the other day along with a whole bunch of other Apple software updates. We're kind of getting to that point where the new features in this software are slowing down because, well, we're two weeks away from WWDC and believe it or not, we're only several months away from getting this new software. So. That is why the feature updates are slowing down. But we're finally here at 13.4 and iOS 16.5. So there are a few new things that Apple has added here and there. These are pretty similar to what we saw on iOS. So let's go ahead and just quickly show you what this update looked like. So on this 2018 MacBook Air, it actually came in at 1.3 gigabytes. So kind of a good size, but uh, not as large as some of the other updates that we have been seeing. So let me know what size it came in at on your computer. But anyways, the first thing they did here, of course, is the new sports tab in Apple News. So we already took a look at this on iPad and iPhone. But now when you go into Apple News, you will find that there is a new sports section that is going to allow you to see all of your sports related news uh, more easily. So as you can see over here on the left hand side, there's a new one that says sports and it's going to take a moment for it to load here, but this is where you'll be able to see all of the sports uh, news in one section. So you won't have to go hunting for it like you did before. Also, if you notice, there is a uh, my sports section right here. So you'll be able to choose your favorite teams across all of your different uh, types of sports. So football, basketball, uh, whatever. You can choose those teams and then it'll curate uh, your stories down here, of course, based on your teams. Also up here on the top right hand corner, you'll see that this is where you can choose different sports. So if you want to just jump to uh, the MLB section for example. It'll take you over there and you'll be able to see all of the baseball related news in one spot. So that is the new sports section here and my sports in Apple News. As far as feature updates goes, that's really all we got here in this update. The rest of the things we can talk about here are some bug fixes that they address. So the first one has to do with Apple Watch and being able to use it to uh, unlock your Mac. So there was an issue where the auto lock with Apple Watch was not working properly. So that should be fixed uh, in this update. The next one here had to do with Bluetooth. So there was a Bluetooth problem where your keyboard, wireless keyboard, would not connect to the Mac after a restart. The third one had to do with accessibility. There was a voiceover issue that would not allow you to navigate to landmarks on different web pages. And then finally, there was a screen time issue, which we also saw on the iPhone, where screen time was not properly syncing or resetting across all of your devices. So that should be fixed here in this update. The final thing we can talk about, like we do every single update, is the various security patches that were resolved here. So if you go to Apple's support page, you can go to Apple's security updates page and you can click on something like macOS Ventura 13.4. And once you click on that, you'll be able to scroll through probably dozens of security patches that were being actively exploited that they have resolved here. Now, a lot of these are across all of the software releases. If you click on each uh, release here, you'll notice a lot of similarities. But yeah, there was quite a few here for macOS Ventura. So it is nice, as usual, to see these all get fixed. But it's also kind of scary to think that there was this many out there that needed fixing. And if you've never looked at this before, you can see some of these are pretty recognizable. Like there's weather, for example. But some of them... You may not know what they exactly are, but anyways, there was uh, basically how you read this. It tells you what was being affected, tells you what it's available for, what was happening, 
how they fixed the issue and then who basically gave them or the credit for the person or research group who found this issue so yeah a lot of security updates that were addressed here in ventura 13.4 but anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. Thank you all for watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next one.